Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of limits. And in this question, we have been told to find the value of a limit where x tends to infinity and the numerator is given to us as root of 3x plus 1 plus root of 3x minus 1 raised to 6 plus root of 3x plus 1 minus root of 3x minus 1 whole raised to 6 upon it is given to us as x plus root of x square minus 1 raised to 6 plus x minus root of x square minus 1 raised to 6 and the numerator is again multiplied with x cube. So we have been asked to find the limit of this entire expression where x tends to infinity. Let's understand how do I solve this. So first of all, whenever you have x tends to infinity and you want to apply the limit there, first try to convert all of your variables that is x in this case into a denominator form. To convert that into a denominator form, what I can do here is first step I can take out a x common from the first bracket as well as from the second bracket. If I take out limit x tends to infinity. If I try to take out x common, it is root of x raised to power 6. So if you understand root of x raised to power 6 means it is x raised to half to the power 6 that is half into 6. So basically you are taking out x cube from the numerator. So from the numerator, I'm taking out x cube common. So what I would be left with here is root of 3x plus 1 upon x plus root of 3x minus 1 upon x raised to 6 plus again. From here also, I'm taking out x cube common. So basically from the entire numerator, I'm taking out x cube common. So you would be left with again root of 3x plus 1 upon x minus root of 3x minus 1 upon x whole raised to 6 and one more x cube is present that is already multiplied in the question. Apart from this in the denominator if I take out again x common here so x here is present and it is raised to 6 so directly I can take out x raised to 6 common. What I will be left with here is x plus root of x square minus 1 the whole thing divided by x raised to 6 plus x minus root of x square minus 1 upon x that is also whole raised to 6. So x raised to 6 is common from the entire denominator. So we divide both of these expressions in the denominator by x. Now let's try to solve this further. First thing what I can do here is I can see x cube and x cube is present that is x raised to 6 that can be easily cancelled with x raised to 6 in the denominator. Now if I try to solve this what I will be left with let's write that down. So limit x tends to infinity. Now in the numerator we have root of 3x plus 1 upon x separating the denominators you get 3x upon x that is 3 plus 1 upon x. So you get here for the first expression root of 3 plus 1 upon x plus root of 3 minus 1 upon x whole raised to 6 plus here we have root of 3 plus 1 upon x minus root of 3 minus 1 upon x whole raised to 6 again. In the denominator, we will be left with x by x. That is, if I separate the denominator again, I get 1 plus root of x square minus 1. If this x goes inside the root, it becomes root of x square minus 1 upon x square raised to 6. Here, you will be left with 1 minus 
root of x square minus 1. Again, this if it goes in the denominator becomes x square further if it extends to infinity. Numerator is root of 3 plus 1 by x plus root of 3 minus 1 by x raised to 6 plus root of 3 plus 1 by x minus 3 minus 1 by x raised to 6. Denominator has 1 plus root of x square by x square again separating the denominator it becomes 1 minus 1 by x square that is raised to 6 and 1 minus root of 1 minus 1 by x square that is again raised to 6. Now if I try to apply the limits that is x raised to infinity I can substitute x as infinity now because everywhere I have made it in the form of x going in the denominator, even in the numerator as well as in the denominator. So now if I put or substitute x as infinity, basically 1 upon x will become equal to 0. So my expression, if I apply the limits in this becomes root of 3 because plus 0 is there, plus root of 3 raised to 6 plus this becomes root of 3 minus root of 3 raised to 6 this becomes 1 plus root of 1 minus 0 so basically it is 1 plus root 1 that is again 1 raised to 6 plus here we have 1 minus root 1. Now if I do solve it, it becomes 2 root 3 raised to 6 plus 0 and this becomes 1 plus root 1 is 1 so 2 raised to 6 plus 0. So 2 raised to 6 into root 3 raised to 6 upon 2 raised to 6 gets cancelled. Root 3 raised to 6 I can write 3 raised to half into 6. That is nothing but, and if I solve to find the values of 3 cube, 3 cube is nothing but 20. So 27 is the answer for the limit which is asked to us for this entire expression. And the answer comes out as 27, which matches with my option. Right? So I hope you have understood how to solve these types of questions where x tends to infinity. Always try to bring variable which is present like x in this case in the denominator and then just apply the limit as well. So applying the limit we got the answer to become 27. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of IIT JW. Thank you.